All right, thank you, Mark. Well, critics say his new book gives guidance to young musicians hoping for long-term fame instead of a one-hit wonder, something we see a lot of these days. So why aren't there more Celine Dion's and Justin Timberlake's out there today? Music industry agent Gene Foley is here to tell us why, something he explains in his new book, Artist Development, a Distinctive Guide to the Music Industry's Lost Art. Gene, good morning. Hi, good morning. Eve. Thanks for being with us. You come to us all the way from New Jersey, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Well, thanks for making the trek in this morning. Yeah. I heard good things about your show uh, from local friends of mine. Uh, if I could shout out to Center Valley, to yeah, Rob and Michelle. Of course. Hi, Rob and Michelle. And uh, just, you know, I, I appreciate the opportunity to come down. Well, thanks for being here. And, Gene, I know that you have quite an impressive resume. Uh, mm -hmm. You've done tons of work in the music industry, and you have clients all over the country, all over the world, yeah. as a matter of fact. Tell us a little bit about the work that you do. Sure. Well, we help uh, up-and-coming artists as well, all the way up to major label artists and everyone in between with a variety of services, you know, guiding their career, making sure all their copyrights and trademarks are in place and their contracts are in order. And then uh, when they're beyond that, the stuff, the promotion, the marketing, the publicity, just to get them from the garage to, to the consumer. Awesome. So give us a, a general report card, uh, if you would. How is the music industry, uh, how has it changed over the past few years? And has it changed for the good or for the worse? <laughs> I think uh, the biggest change is the, the, uh, the role of a record company. Before, they were the be-all, end-all. If you didn't have a record company, it was only so far you could go yeah. beyond your hometown region. Now with the internet and emerging technology and the social media websites, you could, have fan, you could be from here in Allentown and have fans in Australia or yeah. Italy or anywhere thanks to the internet. So I think record companies' role has become more of a promoter and a financier of artists and, and they're doing a lot of things on their own to you know, to get to that point without even needing a label. Yeah, and we'll talk more about the Im impact of technology in a little while. So I imagine a lot of people kind of changing roles in some of, the, of right. those uh, companies. It's a work in progress, that's for sure. Sure, sure. Well, I have to ask you about American Idol. I'm sure that has influenced the industry. Yeah. In your opinion, has that been good or bad? You know, I think it's helped because it really has brought uh, the music industry back to the forefront. Mm -hmm. For a while there, the industry was just not really a, a hot topic. Yeah. And, and at least from January to May, American Idol gets people talking again about the industry, so I think it's great. Uh huh. And for our our viewers out there who are loyal fans of American Idol, does, do you have a Gene Foley uh, opinion as to who's going to take the the win this year? I think the most popular, uh, most talented, I should say, is is Casey James. Mm -hmm. But the last few years, sometimes I wonder if the winner's been more of a popularity contest than a talent contest. Okay. Y years ago, when I was on the circuit doing my interviews, I was saying sure. Chris Daughtry, Chris Daughtry, he wound up coming in fourth that year. But it turned out he had the best career of anyone from his season because yeah. I knew pound for pound he was the most talented, came in fourth place. But once it got to the, out to the real world, he's the one going platinum and selling sure. out arenas. You know, yeah, so. he's become huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good point. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about your, your book, Artist Development, A Distinctive Guide to the Music Industry's Lost Art. What inspired you, you to, to sit down and write this book? Well, since 94, we've had a program at, at my company where an artist could send in their CD to get like a free report card style evaluation to help uh -huh. their career. Oh, nice. And if you're doing 300 to 400 of those a month, you get a, an idea of the same common mistakes over and over and over. And I said, wow, all these people are spending so much money on recording and pressing and photography and publicists and, and they're missing the boat on, on the real, you know, fundamental concepts. So that's what really inspired it, to have everything in one book that someone could read for twelve ninety five, read it in, in three or four nights, and really have a good foundation of what they need to do. Awesome. And, and just run us through a little list. I know you cover a variety uh, of basics for aspiring sure. musicians, right? Song arrangements, uh, copyright and legal issues, marketing, promotion, uh, videos, touring, all the really main topics that if you really want to get from A to B, those are the things you really have to master. So who do you recommend uh, should read the book, Gene? You know, I always market it towards musicians, producers, record company owners and things, mm -hmm. but it's amazing how many emails I get from people who see me on TV shows or radio shows, yeah. not even in the music business, but they're fans, and they love like kind of peering behind the curtain just to see what goes in to make someone successful. So it's, it's really anyone who's just interested in how this crazy business works. Yeah. And how many people, Gene, just to give us a general idea, are actually trying to make it big these days? Do the, does the number continue to grow, or do more and more people, in your opinion, tend to get discouraged? I've, I've heard it's over 3 million I've wow. seen in okay. trade magazines at any given time are trying to make it as a pop or rock star, you know, jazz, whatever it may be. And such a small percentage ever really make it to, like you mentioned in the lead in, Celine Dion, Justin Timberlake, a small percentage yeah, why is make that? it that far. I, I think it's law of averages, you know, mm -hmm. there, there's only so much room at the top. And also the talent pool, out of that three million, there might only be a handful 
maybe a few hundred that are really to that level of, of, of star, superstar abilities. All right, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So coming up in just a few minutes, uh, if you're trying to make it big in the music business, well, you're in luck because Gene will go inside the pages of his new book and give you some advice. That's coming up when we return. Stay with us.